So I'm doing something a little bit different in this video. What I've done is I've got a subject from the garden. I'm bringing it into the studio and I'm going to have to set up the camera, the scene and get a social media worthy image of this subject all in 10 minutes. Welcome to Macro Monday. This episode of Macro Monday is sponsored by my Macro Background Textures. Perfect for creating colourful backgrounds in your macro photography. Check them out in the description below or go to stuartwood.com. Now this is the first episode of Macro Monday, so let me explain what this is all about. As the channel has grown, I've been asked to do more and more reviews. This has led to my passion being taken away from macro photography. So Macro Monday is all about me photographing a subject and taking you from start to the finish, what my thought processes are as I go through the shoot. However, to make things just a little bit more fun, I have to do everything within 10 minutes. So the rules for Macro Monday are very simple. I cannot set up or touch the camera before the timer starts. I cannot set up the scene before the timer starts. I have to get a social media worthy image of the subject we are photographing and I have to do it all within 10 minutes. And we will keep a scorecard as to whether I succeed or fail. And that's right, I will be showing you the videos even if I don't get a shot, because in macro, the reality is sometimes you don't get a shot that you like. Our subject for today is something that is familiar to us, yet is probably going to be one of the hardest things that we have photographed on this channel. What I have found in the garden is a baby zebra jumping spider. Now our zebra jumping spiders, which are the native jumping spiders of the UK, are very small. You're talking a few millimeters in size. Female zebra jumping spiders are five to nine millimeters long, while males are five to six millimeters long. They can be found on walls, plants, and fences on sunny days, and also indoors on windowsills, often in the corner behind curtains. This, well, if it's a millimetre, I'll be very surprised. I mean, you probably can't even see this jumping spider in here. I'll be surprised if you can even see it on the overhead when we set up the scene. So for that, we are going to need to use a higher magnification lens than what I normally use. Now, as per the rules of Macro Monday, I cannot change the equipment until the timer starts. For anyone who's watched the channel, you'll know I have an MPE 65mm lens. I can use that, but we're not going to. Why should we? This is going to be some fun. We're going to be using the lower 25mm 2.5 to 5 times lens for this shoot. But again, I can't fit it until the timer starts. So let's put 10 minutes on the clock. <laughs> Peter McKinnon style. And let's get started. So first thing I'm going to do is configure my camera. And again, because this subject is so small, this configuration that I normally use is not going to work. And I will be talking while I'm configuring it because I am against the clock. And even with an adult zebra jumper spider, 10 minutes is pushing the envelope for that spider. And to save time, I'm not even going to put my lens caps on the lenses. And we're going to fit the lower 25 millimeter lens. Again, this is a 2.5 to 5 times macro lens, which we will need for this shoot. I'm going to use a standard speed light. This is the Young Nuo YN968 EXRT speed light. And of course, I'm going to need some batteries. Let's rub the batteries out of my trim macro flash. Put that in there. I've already got batteries in there, but they're flat. So we'll just dump them. There you go. And again, we're against the clock. Do as I say, not what I do. Don't just dump batteries on the floor. <laughs> okay. Right, he's pairing up. Now, this is a fully manual lens, so we are going to need an attachment. This is the Laura focusing attachment. It's like a little LED that pops on the front of the lens. This will allow me to focus a lot easier. Unfortunately, that does not have an internal battery, so we have to pair it via a battery bag. So, let's plug that in. There we go. See that? 
that will help us to focus. I'm going to turn that off for now just to allow you guys to be able to see me. So with this, uh, this little jumper spider being a few millimeters, well, probably two millimeters at the most, I'd say, I'm going to go four to one to start with on the magnification. And then I need to fit my Crafty Bells diffuser to this uh, lens. But unfortunately, this is designed for a twin macro flash, which is not going to fit onto there. So I'm going to have to customize it slightly. Let's uh, pop that on there. Okay. We have seven minutes remaining. Let's uh, <laughs> get up with this quickly. Breaking the kids have been happy, didn't they? Okay. Quickly, 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 quickly. There we go. I may have to hold that. That's makeshift, and makeshift enough. I'm going to set my F stock to, uh, let's go five, six. I haven't fully tested this lens yet, so I'm not 100% sure what is going to be good for that. Okay. Put that aside. Right, we got to set up our laser Susan. Now we have a very small black jumping spider. Most of this stuff is designed for my pet jumping spiders. Uh, they're going to be no good because you'll find a, a nook and cranny and just hiding it. So I'll come up with a different idea. Let's use a skeleton leaf instead. Okay, let's pop that on here. That, we need a background. Again, it's a black spider, so we don't want to go with a dark background. We want something nice and light. Let's go with this one to begin with. And again, we can always change our mind later on down the line. Keep it lined up. Okay, he's there. Now, another thing I want to do is I'm going to crack off a tiny piece of that leaf so that I can set up my camera without disturbing the uh, jumping spider. Shit, I ain't got batteries in here. Okay, okay, things are starting. Yes, things are starting to get interesting now, and I am starting to sweat because because this, this is the premiere episode. Yeah, <laughs> I don't want to lose on the premiere episode now, do we? Okay, now I'm just formatting my card. Again, as per the rules, I'm not allowed to touch the camera before we um, set everything up. So ISO down as low as possible. One hundred. Uh, I'm going to go with uh, one, 200 for a second on my uh, shutter speed. Let's take a picture of this now. Get this plugged in because I can't focus otherwise. Get a picture of this. Okay, that's going to be good. I am going to probably increase that f stop. So let's get rid of that little thing, wherever it was. There you go. Boom. Let's get our jumping spider out. It could take five minutes just to get the little bugger out there. Oh, this way. This way. Okay. And he's there. There he is. Let's see if I can get a shot of him. Right. I need to increase power. Uh, how the hell do I do that now? There we go. Increase para. Uh, let's go one half para on that. I'm going to increase my shutter, uh, f stop, sorry. Let's see if we can get another picture. We got one that looks okay. I won't know till the end whether or not it is any good. Yeah, okay, there. Yeah. There he is, back on top. He's very, very mischievous at the moment. Okay, let's get a shot. Where is he? Come on. God, he's moving so fast, I can't get him. It's too dark. Oh dear, dear, dear. Let's go. Full power. All right, so 400. This is going to be my last chance, I think, to get this shot. 
if my diffuser would stay on properly, I could hold the uh, the leaf up instead. Go on. Keep still, you little bugger. God. One minute left. Come on. One minute to get a shot. I think the light is scaring him. Yeah, he's gone down. Right. Oh. Where's he gone? He's on the leg. Come on, little dude. Ah! One out of time. <sighs> okay, that brought a sweat on me, that's for sure. I'm gonna see if I can quickly get a shot just so you guys can see what this spider is like. If he'll keep still long enough. Right, that's uh, that's a lot of sweat, a lot of tears, because I do believe for the first and the premiere episode of Macro Monday, I lost. So what did we learn from this Macro Monday? First thing is my Lazy Susan is too big. The background card was too far away from my subject. The lower 25mm lens is a very difficult lens to use and you can easily knock the aperture ring at the front and be on a different f-stop than what you think you are. By the end of the shoot, I found myself on f16. The LED light that lowers supply for this lens is good in theory, but just does not work in reality. The LEDs are too bright and scare the subjects, and the reflections in the spider's eyes are just not very pleasing. And baby jumping spiders, they are very difficult to photograph. So there we go. We are going to put this spider now back into the garden exactly where we found it. Perfectly okay, it's only been gone 10 minutes. And uh, yeah, there you go. So that goes to show that no matter the equipment you got or the amount of experience you got, sometimes you just cannot get the shot. He just would not keep still. And basically what he was looking for, he was looking for a nook and cranny to try and hide in. But because he's so small, I didn't want him getting into any of these here because I wasn't going to be able to get him out and I need to put him back in the garden. So let's take a look at the scorecard. Well, as you can see, I pretty much got beaten in this episode. One nil to nature but I intend to even the scores on the next episode. But well, that's it for this premiere episode of Macro Monday. I hope you enjoy that. Let me know in the comments what you think of this new concept. I'm gonna to aim to try and get one out each week where we will get a subject from the garden, bring it to the studio to photograph it, or in the future, we will be photographing them in the wild. So again, let me know what you thought of this idea. But that's it for now. That's where I'm going to leave it. My name's Stuart Wood. I'll see you on the next episode of Macro Monday. On the next episode of Macro Monday. What have we got? A caterpillar. Doesn't want to go on very good, does it? No. I don't think a dry stick is going to work. Right, I'm going to have to go outside and grab myself some green foliage. Oh no, it's all falling apart! Our subject today is something that is familiar to us, but at the same time, almost add that. Keep still, you little bugger. We still... So it just goes to show that um, no matter how much experience you have, no matter the equipment, sometimes you sometimes, you sometimes, yep, 